I'm 80 years old, and I'm moving towards more income. And I like preferreds, but they're hard to come by. And companies usually have more than one preferred. And, and but you always and, and Dan did too. Just put one of them on the on the buy list. And I was wondering, are there, is it okay to try to get some of the others that are listed um, at the same time? It's. I guess it's okay as long as you have some knowledge and some experience in picking the preferreds because preferreds are are sort of like a hybrid between uh, a stock and a bond. They are technically considered equities, but they work and look and operate more like fixed income. So whenever a, uh, a company issues a preferred stock, they come in different series. So they have different details. They have different due dates, which these days most of them are um, perpetually callable, which means that they they don't ever really get called unless the company has an excess of cash and they decide to pay off some of their debt or um, they can get a better rate in the private market or through some other means of financing. So, um, you know, whenever we look at, we're not just looking at the quality, we're looking at what are the details and what is the likelihood that they'll be called. So if you can get uh, a preferred stock that is trading near par, which most of them are issued at $25 a share, and um, you feel good about the company, you know that it's biblically responsible, then it might be okay to do that. But um, it's the, the safest bet is just to stick to the buy list. We've had a really hard time finding ones that we feel comfortable putting on there. 